As the long-suffering personal computer market finally started to make a comeback, today HP reported what felt like a bit of a mixed quarter to me. PC and printer Kingpin delivered a slight revenue miss with inline margins and inline earnings. Management also reaffirmed its full-year forecast for 2024, but when it rolled out earnings guidance for the current quarter, some could say it looked a bit light. What do we make of these results? Let's take a closer look at Enrique Lourdes. He's the president and CEO of HP Inc. to learn more. Mr. Lourdes, welcome back to Mad Money. Jim, thank you for having us here. Okay, so Enrique, maybe, it's great to see you. I'm, maybe I'm just an optimist, but I feel something different. I feel that we have now gotten to the point where those PCs we bought a couple of years ago, they're looking old, they're looking beat up, and they're not exciting because you've got some new things that you think might attract my attention. Win me over. So we, we really think that the PC market has started to recover. The second half was stronger than the first half, and we had expected the market to grow in 24 compared to 23. And there are big drivers for that, many of them driven really by the innovation we are going to be bringing. First of all, we think there is going to be an acceleration of the renewal of PCs as the transition from Windows 10 to Windows 11 will happen. We think there is going to be a continued increase of average selling price, again, driven by innovation, by the need for customers to use PCs to communicate. And finally, because of the introduction of AI PCs, that will be happening at the end of the year. And this will drive significant momentum in the category, some in 24, more in 25, more in 26. And as we have said before, we think this is going to double the growth of the PC category starting next year. Okay, so artificial intelligence is sometimes the eye of the beholder. I like my P PC. I think it does everything for me that it could. Tell me what are the things it might be able to do that I would only dream that it could do. I think many of the things that you do now, accessing the cloud, we are going to enable them to be done in the PC. For example, you want to combine your private data, the analysis you have done with a complex large language model, you will be able to do it locally without having to go to the cloud. And you will be able to ask your PC, please provide me the analysis of this p &L of this company that I don't know if I should invest or not. The PC will run the analysis for you, will provide a report for you, and then you will decide what you want to do or not. It's going to be a very exciting time, James. Okay, so my, my thinking would be that must cost double or triple the current PC. Tell me why that won't cost a fortune. So it will not be significantly more expensive than what you will have. Our estimate is that the overall, overall average selling price will grow between 5 and 10 percent. And again, the price will not be comparable with the additional value you will be getting, because we are going to really enter in a new area of what PCs or computers are going to be able to do for you. Well, now that I know that, I think it definitely will be worth the you know, upgrade. Now, one of the things I'm very confused about, and maybe because I, old habits die hard, I print the hell out of things. I have a printer at home. I print everything. But yet, when I read your conference call and your different notes, it's very clear at your analyst meeting that I seem to be in the minority. Every year, people seem to print a little less. How is that possible? Well, in the print category, there are different segments. There are some segments where we see decline year on year, for example, printing at home. There are segments where we see a stable market printing in the office. And there are segments where we see significant growth, which is industrial printing. Printing labels, packaging, all this segment is really growing. And the combination of these things make us believe that the print market is going to be stable in the coming years. No, what I was very intrigued by the idea for the print at home, the subscription business. that I, You introduced it on the show. It made so much sense to me. But if, if printing is declining at home, the subscription business can't be all that good. Well, the subscription business is a great business. We have now more than 13 million subscribers that every month pay us to print, and we are expanding the category. We started with Ink. We have now enabled all type of uh, cartridges, and la recently we introduced also paper as a subscription. We just in a few quarters, we reached more than half a million subscribers that are paying us to get paper. And in the coming months, we will be including the full printer in the subscription. So it's a great business for us, and it's great for our customers because they really get much more value in terms of usability and reducing friction in terms of having their printers working. Okay, well, there we have what's basically a service platform. Now, can I extend it and basically get um, help from HP if I need it? It's not only about getting help from HP. 
We are going to be expanding the platform to bring additional digital services, but our vision is to be able to offer our full portfolio as a subscription. And during 24, we will be testing different concepts, including PCs, including other type of peripherals, because we think subscription, because of the removal of friction they bring, is the way to go, and many of our customers really want to buy our products as a subscription. And uh, just if you can, uh, I always do need to know where you think you stand versus the competition. What will you be offering that will distinguish you from a crowd that you often mention the other companies that some people think they're the same? I don't think they're the same. I, I don't think we are the same. I think we are ahead in many fronts. Subscription is one of them. There is no other competitor that has the breadth of subscription programs that we offer and that has the install base that we do have today. We are also very differentiated in hybrid solutions. With some of the acquisitions we have made, we offer now the broadest portfolio of solutions to enable people to work from home, work from the office, or to really communicate both in an effective way. That's a big, big differentiator for us that will continue to be in the future. And finally, another big differentiator for us is security. We offer the most secure printers and PCs in the planet, and as you know, this is becoming every day more important. Absolutely. Well, Enrique, again, I mean, you've delivered consistently in a very difficult environment. And if we do get a pickup in BCs, you will be a coiled spring. And we do know it's going to happen. That's Enrique Lourdes, President and CEO of HP Inc. Enrique, I love having you on the show. Thank you. Thank you, Jim. Great to be here and happy Good. Thanksgiving. Oh, same to you. May I find back here for the break. Coming up, is the sky falling on Tyson Foods? Kramer checks in to see if the stock still has any pluck. Next. Don't miss a second of Mad Money. Follow at Jim Kramer on Twitter. Have a question? Tweet Kramer. Hashtag Mad Tweets. Send Jim an email to madmoney at CNBC.com or give us a call at 1-800-743-CNBC. Miss something? Head to madmoney.cnbc.com.